Hey guys, Saki here from Saki Tech and in today's video I'm going to bring you a quick update and this update is geared for Samsung Galaxy Note 8 owners and S8 and S8 Plus owners. So basically what I'm going to show you guys is how to disable the Bixby button that is on the side of the screen that when you press brings up the uh, Bixby home screen. Uh, some people have shown interest on how to disable this button. Uh, some people have shown interest on how to remap this button. Now this video is not going to be about remapping is strictly about how to actually disable this button. And of course, this is an official update that Samsung uh, issued to all the Bixby devices. Now, before I do dive in, I wanna let you know really quickly that I'm not actually uh, in favor of you disabling Bixby because I personally like Bixby and what it is capable of. I'm gonna drop a few videos in the description box below that you can go watch that shows you some in-depth Bixby analysis and tricks and comparisons with Siri and Google Assistant, just in case if you're not fully aware of what Bixby is capable of. Now, first and foremost, really quick, if you pinch the screen and if you scroll over, you can always disable Bixby Home, all right? So in this scenario, when you swipe over, Bixby does not come. So if you have it enabled and if you swipe over, you go to the Bixby cards, uh, but if you go over like this and you uh, disable it, you can also press and hold, by the way, and go over and disable it. And in this scenario, it does not actually bring up Bixby when you swipe over, but when you press the button, that same screen will still show up. So some people don't like this, so I'm gonna show you now how to disable it. So basically, there's two ways to get it done. First way is to go tap this icon here and go to the settings, and then scroll down a little bit until you see the option that says Bixby key. And if you tap it, it shows you the two options you have. Uh, one of them is press to open Bixby Home, press and hold to open Bixby Voice. So when you press it, Bixby Home comes. When you press and hold, it's gonna launch Bixby Voice. And then what you can do is you can say, don't open anything. So when I go back home, and if I, if I press that button, it's not gonna open Bixby Home. Now, the other way to get this done is, let me just enable Bixby over here from the home screen. Let me bring it right in because we disabled the button. Uh, the other way is if you have gotten the most recent updates, you can tap this settings icon and from here you'll see a Bixby key pull down. And again, from here you can disable this, enable this in this scenario or disable this. Okay, very easy to do. You don't have to worry about accidentally pressing the Bixby button anymore if it is bothering you. Now, there's a couple things you need to know with disabling the Bixby button. So, okay, if you don't, if you press it one time just like that, it's not going to bring up the uh, Bixby home, the Bixby cards. But if you press and hold, it's still going to bring uh, the Bixby voice, okay. Here is what I the Bixby voice option. All right. If you want to just disable everything, all you do is you go back into Bixby home, tap on that icon on the side, uh, go to settings, and then you go over here to Bixby voice and you disable that as well. And now basically, and if I go over here and do this also, now basically everything is turned on. Whether I press this guy or if I press and hold it, there's no Bixby in sight. And if I swipe over, there's no Bixby in sight. Now, let me just clarify. I'm not one of those reviewers that absolutely hate Bixby. I've done some in-depth reviews of how Bixby voice actually works. It controls your entire device. So I'm going to drop a link down to a bunch of videos that you can go watch to see the full functionality of Bixby. And then after you watch those videos, you can make the decision to actually disable it or enable it. Uh, some people just don't need it, so it's okay to disable it. And some people like to use it, so just keep it enabled. And of course, there are some people that simply don't even know what Bixby is capable of. So that's why I'm going to reference those videos in the description box below. And of course, uh, some people actually like Bixby voice, but they don't like Bixby cards. And that's why you have the option to disable either one of them. Okay. So if you don't want the Bixby cards, you can disable that, which can keep Bixby voice enabled, or you can have them both on, or you can have them both off. That's plenty of customization in my book. Unfortunately, however, for people that are really crazy about wanting to remap that button, we don't have that option yet officially. All right, guys. Well, thank you for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech for more Galaxy Note 8, Samsung Galaxy S8, and other phone updates. And of course, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And finally, if you do use Instagram or Twitter, make sure to follow me on both at Saki Tech Online. Guys, have a fantastic day.